Hello everyone, I hope you're all well. Today's video is about my jewelry collection. I asked you guys on Instagram to tell me what you want to see and my jewelry ranked pretty high. So let's get into it. Um, I also want to mention that this video is only part one. So it's basically just for rings and watches. Next week there will be bracelets and necklaces. First of all, I thought we'd start with watches. The Cartier Panther watch was a gift I bought for myself when I got my first big paycheck and turned 25. Mine is in rose gold. This particular collection is actually a model that's been remade. I think from their 1983 design or something. That's what the staff told me. Then moving on to my rings. All my friends know I love rings and the amount of pieces I have is a lot more than necklaces and bracelets. The first one is from the Spanish designer Beatriz Palachos or something. Okay, I'm definitely butchering the name. Anyways, I got them from a Taiwanese jewelry select shop called Acro, which is a French name and I'm butchering that again for sure. The second one is from the same designer in the same select shop actually. I love how this one is a bit more minimal. I personally prefer pearls in a more modern design rather than your classic feminine or vintage looking ones. Then you've got my Coco Crush ring. I absolutely love this collection. It's beautiful, it's classy on its own, but it's also extremely versatile, so it styles really well with other pieces as well. This one from Hermes is my latest purchase. I bought it on my last Paris trip. As you can probably tell by now, I'm drawn to rose gold a bit more. I love how for this ring, you sort of get like two designs in one. And this next one is from Hermes as well. I know a lot of people think it's a bit weird to buy jewelry with Hermes since they are known for their bags, but personally I think they have really timeless and amazing designs and I just keep wearing them over and over. Now this Dior ring is perhaps my favourite piece from my entire collection. I'm a big fan of the compass design. I also have this in the necklace, that's how much I love it. I have so much wear of this one, it wears well with other pieces and on its own. Also from Dior, but from their fashion jewelry department, this antique gold finished material is something they do really well on. I tend to reach for this one when I want something a bit more fun for the day. Now moving on to a couple of my favourite Australian designers. First is Lucy Folk. They have a bit more contemporary approach to jewelry. Next being my first ever Australian designer love, Sarah and Sebastian has always been high up on my list. I love this open design not just because it looks really pretty, but also it tucks really nicely. The last one is from Moten. They are a sustainable jewelry brand, meaning they gather vintage pieces, either sell it as it is or redesign a bit. Um, that also means that every piece you get is actually one of a kind. Shihara is my favorite Japanese brand. I discovered them I think about four to five years ago and I've been going back to them every single time I'm in Tokyo. They are also the first brand that made me consider buying a pearl piece. Okay, so I know you guys have seen this ring too many times, but what can I say? I just love it. Uga is a brand founded by my friend and her designs are so adorable. They are also extremely affordable but with great quality, so you're not really sacrificing anything. This last one is a gift from my mom. We were at this Louis Vuitton jewelry exhibition together and she saw how much I was drawn to this ring, so she secretly reserved it. This is also my only white gold piece, I believe. It has a really lovely weight to it and I like pieces that has, I guess, this kind of physicality to them. So guys, that's an overview of my rings and watch collection. Next week, I'll upload the video for necklaces and bracelets. I know I only touched base on designer or statement pieces in general, but I guess I just want to do a video that is more focused first. And I also don't want this video to be like 20 minutes long. If you want to see my more, I guess, pure styling purpose pieces, let me know in the comments below. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. I'll try to link everything in the info box below. If you like my content, do subscribe and you get a notification for next week's video. See ya!